Our word of the day comes from the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 21. Jude, chapter 1, verse 21. And it says, Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Amen. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Sister Joanna's prayer request really kind of, I felt my spirit was really pointing to the mercy of, of God this morning. Um, and this short verse uh, is very powerful. Keep ourselves in the love of God. How do we keep ourselves in the love of God? By looking for the mercy, his mercy. Because if we start getting self-righteous and we start trying to walk according to the law and trying to be earn our way into the kingdom, we're not looking for his mercy. And we're not walking in love. We're walking in self-righteousness. If we start judging people, we are walking in self-righteousness. But God wants us to love people as well and show them the same mercy. This is how we can look forward to uh, Lord Jesus Christ and his coming and gaining entrance into the kingdom of heaven. It is by trusting in his ways. Knowing him and understanding him keeps us from getting all legalistic because we need his mercy to enter the kingdom. We will not walk up to those pearly gates and say, oh, well, I deserve entry because I was a good person. What we are doing is we walk into those pearly gates and we claim we have no rights to enter except for the mercy of God, the blood shed of Jesus Christ and his righteousness is why we get eternal life. That is where I believe God wants us to rest in, is in his love and to share that love with others and to trust in his mercy and not our goodness. Praise the Lord. I struggle with this on a daily basis, so I wouldn't be surprised if anyone else did. It is very easy to try to uh, Try, try to strive to be good and lose focus on the fact that uh, there is only one good, and that is God, and to rest in his mercy and rest in his love and to do the same, to share that love to God and to others as well, and even ourselves, which is probably my biggest issue. So, uh, Lord, we thank you for this word today. We ask you to help us do this. Help us come to rest even on this Sabbath day, Lord in your love and to walk in that love and trust in your mercy. And uh, that way the enemy doesn't gain a foothold and start to condemn us or cause us to try to get righteous on our own. Uh, but to surrender everything we see in ourselves that's not of you and trust in your mercy and your power to change us. So we thank you for this word today and we ask you to make it a reality in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.